You just received a call from a parent who is angry and wants you to call them back right away. Let's dive in on setting the tone for managing a potentially challenging interaction. Pop-up practices, where practice makes progress, season three. Hopefully you've established a positive rapport prior to having this difficult conversation. It should help families feel less anxious as you delve into some more difficult topics. Let's jump into the three things you need to remember when you embark on a potentially difficult conversation with families. Number one, be prepared. Make sure you're calm prior to returning the phone call or message. Be ready to answer any questions about the child that may arise. In most cases, you're going to have an idea of why the parent reached out. Listen without interrupting. It is crucial to actively listen in these situations. Listen with the goal of working together to support the child's success. How can the information supplied by the family member positively impact the child? Try paraphrasing what you've heard and asking non-judgmental, clarifying questions to make sure you are understanding the individual circumstances. For example, what I'm hearing is, my understanding is, would you tell me more about? These strategies should benefit your relationship with the family and potentially positively support a resolution. Establish boundaries. Both parties need to be respectful in their communication. If their first words are angry or agitated, state that they need to speak to you in a considerate manner. Repeat the goal of wanting to work together to find a positive solution for the child. If the parent or family member continues to be aggressive, simply state this conversation may not continue in this manner and make sure to follow up with your administrative team. Remember to show gratitude for their willingness to participate and problem solve for the benefit of the student. This shifts the power dynamic from authoritarian to collaborative. Asking parents questions regarding where they see their child shine, for example, math class or the basketball court, gives us insight to potentially untapped skills. It also allows parents to provide us with positive feedback. As we consider our empathetic approach, consider adding to the conversation comments like, I can see that's important to you, or I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. This will help de-escalate the parents by showing that you empathize and you're reinforcing the goal of collaboration. Remember, families who have regular communication with teachers are much less likely to engage in volatile communication. Start early with those positive interactions, including sharing calendar updates, giving positive progress related to their child, inviting them to school or the classroom, Make sure you're consistent. Thanks for joining me today on Patton's Pop-Up Practice, where practice makes progress. Produced by Kat Zimmerman. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.